In business tonight, government's business trust loan initiative is punching above its weight and being recognized as a trailblazer in the provision of affordable finance across the small business landscape of the island. And that's according to Dwight Sutherland. He made the comment during the launch of a national training initiative as part of the training phase of the trust loans project at the trust loan units Harbor Road headquarters. The trust loan fund is also being positioned to give added impetus to the national effort to ensure that the micro, small and medium sized enterprises, enterprise sector, sorry, contributes meaningfully to the growth of the national economy and to give opportunity to average Barbadians to own a business. That's the whole ethos of the trust loan fund. And Minister Sutherland says, given the limited financial resources at national disposal, there is an increasingly urgent need for small business support organizations, both in the public and private sectors, to work together for the greater national good. This clarion call for collaborative micro, small and medium enterprise development is certainly not an accidental refrain, since notice is given here of government's intention to pursue, to pursue the Small Business Development Center, or what we call the SBDC model, as it is called, as the, the preferred method by which micro, small, and medium enterprise development will be vigorously pursued going forward. Well, former Prime Minister and veteran economist Owen Arthur has weighed in on the island's current program with the International Monetary Fund. Speaking last evening at a Salises Policy Forum, he says the Barbados Economic Recovery and Transformation Program, better known as BERT, contains some tall orders. He warns that some aspects, such as, as those addressing the primary surplus, indicate that Barbados could be under an IMF arrangement longer than expected. The Barbados program calls for the primary deficit to be carried from 3.5% of GDP by the measures spelled out in the mini budget before the program and the measures set out in the first phase of the program itself, and thereafter to amount to 6% of GDP in every financial year. It has to be sustained at 6% of GDP for the next 15 years to bring the debt to GDP ratio down from 157% to 60% by 2013-33. We will be under an MF program for 15 years. Time now to take a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across our region. First up in Jamaica, Proven Investments Limited JMD was the volume leader with 1,247,480 units at $26.50. They were followed by the Cinco Group Limited Ordinary Shares and NCB Financial Group Limited. In Trinidad and Tobago, Ansa Macau Limited was the volume leader with 67,017 shares changing hands for a value of $3,685,935 and they were followed by Trinidad and Tobago NGL Limited and Sajigor Financial Corporation Limited. And in Barbados, Cave Shepherd and Company Limited was the sole security, trading 637 shares at $4.60 each. <laughs> 